Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Prison Architect Strategy and Tactics Episode 5. So, in our last episode, we got our next wing up and running, uh, just in the nick of time, and we are moving on to Plan B, or Phase 2, of this inmate nutrition research study, which is screwing everybody up. Our uh, cook's desperately trying to get uh, food ready in time uh, for all this nonsense. Um, and in, in this little kitchen, has been serving us uh, well enough for the time being, but it will not be enough for a while. Uh, or in, in a while. Soon, I should say. It will not be enough soon. Alright, work and a lock up. Yes, hopefully we can get some prison labor in here to help out. Please, guys, please help out and don't do something stupid. Yeah, overheating. Yeah, it's probably a little hot in there. Why are you me? Why are you moving so slow? Come on, cameo black. Put your back into it, man. Uh, hopefully that's not him. Nope, that's him. You take a knife. Don't tell me you took a knife. Please don't tell me you took a knife. Oh, you took a drill too. And some cigarette. A cell phone. Ah. Uh, come on, man. What are you doing? Come on, we need the help during cook time. And now we gotta stuff you in a cell for five hours. You're gonna miss meal time. Don't worry, there'll be more coming up. <laughs> Get you good and suppressed. Hopefully that will teach you not to uh, not to fart around like that. Ugh. All right, now the question becomes, oh yeah, uh, let me check our regime here, because I think, yeah, we're coming up on our last late night, midnight snack here. Uh, then once everyone's in lockup, we will do more building. Now, is anybody working in here now? We got one dude, one, one dude working here. I know the kitchen is just so tempting to prisoners, but it is so useful to have them helping that it's worth the risk. It's worth the contraband influx, in my opinion. Whoop! Oh, doggo! All right, let's see. Can we actually feed everybody? Yeah, it looks like our dots are lining up, so we can. Well, everyone who's not locked up in their cell for being a bad boy. All right, lock up time. I guess you're just going to serve it. Serve it in your sleep, actually. That's not a bad idea. Ooh, someone tried to poison the guard's food? That's not, that's not cool. Um, okay. So it is building time. I think what we're going to do is we're going to extend this out a little further and we'll build the shell for our next cell block. Um, and get, at the very least, get that in the ground. So this whole fence needs to go. This brick... Area needs to be extended out to oh let's say about here. We'll 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 put it out a little bit longer than we need to. Well, maybe not quite that long. And then in here, again, we're going to measure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six spaces open for our yard. Beautiful. Oh, wait, not beautiful. 
need to do that in concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that's beautiful. And just to make sure that we have these set to demolish walls. So they know to take the fence down so we can put proper walls there. Oop, shiv, shiv in there. Yeah, clean mop up here, guys. You got one more day of the three meal hell before we can go back to a proper regime. Regime, have things do, have it things run my way. Darn it, because I am rather particular about this. And yes, I know this requires an entrance. Um, you know what we'll do. We'll just poke a hole in it. We'll, actually, what we'll do is we'll just take this wall down. That'll be our entrance. What's this thing whining about? A prayer mat. They do want the prayer mats. Okay, we can do prayer mats. We'll do, uh, we'll do one on each, uh, on each side here. All right, that takes care of this little uh, block right here. Oh, and of course we can't forget to reset up our fence. Beautiful. And we will set up our wall over here. Now, there is something that we are going to, uh, I do want to start building right now, and that is more offices. Now you might be saying, well, Binstar, why, why do you need more offices? You already have your six office employees, right? You are right. You would be right. You are right. You are absolutely categorically correct. However, um, we need to move them. The offices where they are sitting as we speak are not in ideal locations. Uh, we need that space. And I kind of place them in a manner knowing that they would eventually need to get moved. Oh yeah, let's get our, uh, let's pre-place our doors here. Staff door, please. Thank you. And now we can go place our uh, brick walls. It's a brick wall. Sorry. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, let us get some lights. And what we're going to actually do is we're going to just to save a little money uh, and time and what have you, we're just going to tear up their, their stuff here, dismantle everything, um, just so that we can remantle it. Um, back where they're, uh, where, where they're meant to be. Making sure we're not dumping anything. We'll keep the lights here because we'll use the, we'll be using these lights. I think that's everything. Just want to make sure that they, uh, did I put down that, that, that fence? Good. Why are you guys going around like, okay. Yeah, let's prioritize that, guys. So we don't have to deal with nonsense like this. And also so that we don't have prisoners waking up to an escape opportunity. Whoop, and doggo. Oh god, it's another dog war. It's another dog war. Oi. And then this will be part of some other room. 
room, uh, whose function has not been mentioned yet. And the dog sniffs everything. When you see those little dog icons, those little, those little dog head icons, that means they are checking, uh, they're sniffing that object. Uh, just to be sure. That way you know when things are getting checked. All right, four new minimum securities coming on in. Uh, let's check our stuff here. We have a couple office desks already. And a filing cabinet. Again, I don't want to buy new ones of these. I just want to place them as... Oh, got a chair. As our workers dig them up. Oh yeah, with the uh, chapel, we can actually now get ourselves, um, let's go to programs here. Ooh, lots of drug addiction um, uh, requests here. And for some reason, it doesn't want to start them. Um, spiritual guidance. Two hundred and fifty per uh, There we go. Um yeah, I do want to get this pharma phar pharmacological treatment of drug addiction. We might need to shift our uh, regimes around a little bit. Someone hiding metal in the wood? What? Someone just saw some saw blade get stuck in there. All right, all of our uh, all of our office equipment should be ready for transportation now. Uh, so we can get our chairs in here. We can get our other office desks and our filing cabinets. And that should do it. It's just a matter of them transporting them. All right, sleep time means eat time. All right, do we? Can we actually feed enough people? Oop, who'd we grab this time? Canthoper. Yeah, he's currently starving. So, well, you probably are. You're probably making him starve more because you interrupted him from grabbing food. Oop. Eagle beak, what do you got? Nothing. And we're getting our new people in. How um we are getting closer to uh finishing that off. Alright, how um yeah, once these become proper offices, I just all we need to do is cancel the offices uh, for below um, uh, the, the old offices, and they will take up residence in their new offices. And that will uh, conclude the successful relocation of our uh, key staff here. So let's wait for that last. There you are. Actually, well, here's what we'll do. We'll just cancel the rooms now. See, they're all going to find that. And the, the psychiatrist is the slowest on the uptake. But he will get his uh, office back soon enough. Now, the other thing that we're going to be doing here is um, doing a lot of... doing doing some uh, demolition here. And get, getting rid of uh, these staff doors here. Including this one, too. We are going to be making plenty of room. 
because we need to expand the kitchen, if you haven't guessed that already. The kitchen is going to be... Uh, we have a giant canteen. We're going to need a giant kitchen. Ooh, who got who got bullseye here? Ah, you know what? He, he triggered the dog before, but they didn't find anything on the search. So that's proof positive that he had something smelly on him. But uh, sometimes he, uh, even when getting searched, inmates can, can uh, hide things pretty well. Did I, uh, did I put a, a, a concrete wall? Yes, I did. Okay. Boy, prolific doggy. Mm, nothing there. Yeah, you guys get to cleaning. This area's a mess. While we get to defining a larger kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. There's the kitchen. Big McLarge kitchen. Now, one thing we're going to do before we upgrade our kitchen is upgrade our power station because building, as we learned at the beginning of the game, building lots of kitchen equipment draws a lot, a lot of power. Um, so we want to make sure that we keep up on our power before we go and expand everything else out there. So I'm actually going to go ahead and finish up the capacitors here. It's probably much more than we need, but I do not want to be caught with uh, with my proverbial pants down, if you know what I mean. And with the A, we'll put some lights in here. Oop, form pro. Oh, it looks like that was uh, that was the uh, the spiritual uh, leader there. All right, how are you doing? Terrible. You're doing terrible. You're doing excellent. Bellamy, how are you doing? You're doing terrible. Yeah, you. Bellamy wants uh, literacy. She wants to be able to read. But we can't do that until we get a library. Now, we could build a library, but it's going to be useless until we get at least one person to pass this damn, uh, this damn uh, referral, this reform program. This is why I wanted to start it up sooner rather than later, so that we had a chance of getting at least one person to pass this damn thing. And yes, I know people are doing terrible. We, uh, we don't have a strict enough regime. That's our problem. We are being too loose with people right now. Um, you can do permanent punishments. Just to knock it out of the way anyway. Uh, oh yeah, taser rollout. Taser, roll out, taser, roll out. Da, 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 da. Well, look at all this staff food coming in here. Sheesh. All right, now, uh, with all of those built, let's uh, let's expand out our kitchen. Because uh, we need this thing to be big, big, big. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to do sort of a central column here of cookers. But actually, let's let's space it a little bit better. See if we can uh, get a little bit more efficiency in the mix here. So if we do, we do fridge, fridge, and then cooker, cooker. Cooker, cooker. Fridge, fridge. Fridge, fridge, cooker, cooker. Yes, we can get so much more, uh, so much more real estate out of all of this. Now we are going to need more. Um, we're going to need more um, sinks. Um, that's that is abundantly clear. Um, as far as where to put additional sinks. Uh, well, you know what? We'll just continue this. This we'll we'll um, we'll put in a bunch of sinks in here. Like we'll have a row of sinks. Oops. We'll have sink, sink. This is probably overkill on the sinks, but sink, sink, and then we'll do more cookery nonsense. Um, yeah, we'll put a space in here so people can get in and out of different, because uh, otherwise that's not going to be terribly efficient. 
fact, I might dismantle this and this so people can get out. Fridge, fridge. Fridge, 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 fridge. Cooker, cooker. Uh, and let's get some bins where we can sneak them, like here and here. Yeah, I think what we're going to do once we'll dismantle the, the other stuff once uh, once it's like midnight, because I don't want to interrupt cook time, because uh, that would be bad. But yeah, all all kinds of kitchen equipment incoming. And this is why we needed this uh, this this power station fully kitted out. Clang. Yeah, we'll we'll dismantle this fridge and this fridge and probably put a fridge over here to sort of even things out, uh, but also give us avenues for people to get in. Uh, now for utilities here, um, yeah, actually all we really need is just a row, a single water pipe like this, and then a hot water pipe. That's kind of the reason I put it all in a line. Because these should, by proximity, be able to uh, get the rest of these in here. And of course, yeah, we're going to need a metric butt-ton more uh, chefs. But we're going to be soon feeding a larger prison population. But yeah, it looks like we still have some punters here. Hopefully nobody starves to death before this experiment concludes. If somebody gets unlucky enough multiple times. And also I need to keep an eye on our power to make sure that we actually have properly planned for uh, the inclusion of all these. All right, so those are going on up here. Yeah, finish eating, guys. No starvation deaths, please. Yeah, he his he's still eating, and his food still has a food need. So he was one of the hungry ones. Shona Bellamy, going for that exercise. Uh, this also, with the larger kitchen, will allow us to have, uh, to employ, well, a lot more, um, a lot more prison jobs. And yes, I am maxing that out. I want all the prisoners working in the kitchen, if possible. And also, I want all the prisoners doing, uh, doing that, that training. Oop. Drugs and, uh... Buckwell! Found drugs, found drugs! Mr. Buckwell, that is not how we do things around here, sir. Alright, I'm going to start building out the cells, but I'm not going to start it up until... What's this tree stump doing in here? I'm not going to start it up until we finish this initiative, because I do not want to subject the new prisoners to this crazy regime. I want to I want to be able to bring people in and put them to my regime, thing, do things my way. But that being said, we do need to we do need to get the frameworks ready and ready to go here. So let us do just that. Uh, once again, going for single cells here. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, we uh, got our new cell block kitted out, ready to roll. Um, our new kitchen is all kitted out, ready to roll. Yeah, 
man, we have we need to expand our deliveries area. Holy crap. Uh okay. Scared me for a second. It's like, no, I didn't overload my power. Oh, one other reason why we are sort of hovering under 50 prisoners. Uh, once you go over 50, that's when events start happening and you need to be on your toes. Um, so you just need to keep that in mind. Where is my damn delivery? There it is. And we'll do it up to here. And we might as well... Tell you to do that. Get all these trees while we're at it. And since we're cutting out all, these, all this wood, let's expand our storage to be likewise. Alright, who do we balls eye? Okay, good. More prisoners working in here. Good job, guys. If we wanted to, we could sort of make this an extra door um, just to increase the efficiency of everything. I might do that. We'll have to put a separate um, uh, detector right here, metal detector, to uh, ensure that uh, people aren't uh, being silly about it. But at the very least, we can put that down here so that we have extra avenues of food delivery. Looks like everyone's trading out their uh, respective uh, uh, outfits here. And it's too bad our laundry guys aren't working. At least I don't see them not working. Oh yeah, speaking of, um, let's uh, let's get a little bit more there, and let's get another in the cleaning cupboard. Oh yeah, let's get our uh, utilities up here. Um, and we need to get that uh, metal detector in here. Metal detector. Metal detector. Also, we have this. Oh, yeah. He's building the new uh, door control, which uh, is something I ordered up. I think one more meal with this, but with this new and improved kitchen, plus the prison labor helping out, I think we might actually be able to feed everybody. It looks like we have enough meals anyway. It's just a matter of uh, having everyone bring them here. They haven't even finished clearing out the trays for the other ones. Yeah, we're going to be hiring a lot more guys. But yeah, actually, it looks like we have more meals than we have people. Poison. Wood. Bad, bad boy. Nope, we're out of, we're, we're, we're at 50% mass here because we know, need to bring these over. Why are you guys washing trays? Why aren't you delivering food? as people go blitzing for it. Yeah, unfortunately we followed that with a lockup. Don't worry, we'll be we'll be putting a more sensible uh, uh, set of regimes in place um, that will hopefully get our uh, Oh yeah, with our new code. We can only do six door controls, so we needed a new one of these consoles to get this in place. And since you guys are so diligently working out here, we should, uh, we should encase uh, this area here. 
So why don't we get started on that? So brick wall here, door gate here, brick wall down here. Can't put one on the very, very edge here, so we're going to need to uh, make room. Got you there. Go back for our door gate. And back here to our brick wall. Now here's a nifty thing about the door gates um, that are not immediately a thing. They can be door servoed. Um, I usually just put it right over here. Uh, so that way the gates can be remotely opened and you don't have to worry about a, uh, a, a guard coming over and using their keys to have to open the door for every truck that comes in. So that will be handy. And we've got a, a new door control system with new capacity, uh, ready and raring to go. Uh, oh yeah, utilities. We're going to need to get our large pipe up a little bit. Like so. And let's get our small pipe. The, uh, the toiletries are uh, closest to the door. Like so. Oh yeah, you guys need to, we need to define you as unlocked. Because, yeah, <laughs> nobody we're keeping in there right now. Um, all right, back to utilities. We've got hot water. This needs to go up a bit. That one boiler, like I said, the, the one boiler can handle quite a bit uh, as long as it's hooked up to a big pipe. So it's got tons and tons of water pressure. Oh, finished researching something. Oh, the taser roll out, right. Uh, we can go and get body armor, and then we'll get guard towers while we're at it. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have got guard towers there. We are running a little bit shy on cash, although we are going to get a good influx here. Um, let's, um, let me take a look at my grants here. Actually, increase the size of security for body armor, t taser, CCTV. We can actually do this one. Um, and then we'll do cell block B. Uh, yeah, we are researching armor and we need to increase the size of our force. We can do that. Satisfied that. So yeah, all you need is body armor, and that will more than pay for itself. Now, of course, our our daily in cash flow uh, took a hit, but I will take uh, immediate financial gain over uh, uh, over long term stuff because we're going to be getting more prisoners in the long term. So it will be uh, evening. It. Whoa, doggy! You <laughs> missed his uh, missed his owner. Oh yeah, we got to get uh, power lines out here to the servos. These actually do require direct connections. It's kind of wonky on how they work. But it's best just to get them direct connected here. How is our uh, power doing? Eh, yeah, we have still have more than enough capacity, which is fine by me. Um, I'm more than happy with that. Oh yeah, let's... Um, Let's get this in place. We'll do the remote door for the kitchen. And we will also do another um, um, metal detector here because, yeah, lots of metal objects in the kitchen that we must scan for, especially with all the prison labor that we're doing. And of course, we can't forget our lovely friend, the servo. Yeah, that is the right one. 
Perfect. So that will make uh, transportation of this a little bit more efficient. The other thing we can do to make things more uh, more efficient is to uh, get this and this and this, depending on which direction and which door they want to use to uh, 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 get into into here. Because that there's a fa it's a faster walking speed on uh, on these uh, pavers right here. Hopefully, uh, and also let's uh, let's get a couple more cooks. Come on, guys! You got you got work to do. It's our last day of this uh, this research study nutrition crap. Um, then once that's over, we will be putting in a proper. Um, policy. Oh, I put this in the wrong side, didn't I? Oops. Probably did that. Nope, I got this one right. I just need to link it up. And I already looked, linked those up. So yeah, we'll just dismantle that, and once they put it back in, then we'll reappropriate it into the correct location. Oh no, a knife in the kitchen! That should reduce, like, slightly the daily operating costs, because we just got free equipment, because someone tried to snuggle in a knife. Yeah, and I'm not trying to get these ready for showtime for this prisoner intake. Uh, tomorrow is when we'll be getting the prisoners in for, for these beasts. Ooh, drugs. Drugs and the eggs. <laughs> this is your brain on drugs. Yeah, this is why we got to get that in there. All right, let's get uh, let's get that door, door servo in the proper place. Thank you very much. And I'm curious to see if we can feed everybody this time around with a new and improved kitchen. Oh yeah, do I have a... Uh... Yeah, we got to con connect to this one now. Oh, door, door. the door is there, the servo isn't. Open door. At least until the servo can be put in. Mr. McGordon. And uh, Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson? Wasn't that the guy from uh, Dennis the Menace? I guess he finally snapped. And we almost fed everybody, and a couple of those red ticks are some of the new people who aren't going to be making it to mealtime anyway. So yeah, we made it through the nutrition research without starving anybody to death. That's always a good thing. Grant completion payment. Finally. And actually, yeah, we might as well uh, complete the body armor here to complete that one. And there we go. So, um, that is a, a good stopping point here. So, in our next episode, we're going to be turning up the heat. We're actually going to be inviting in some medium security people. Yes. Um, and um, we're going to keep the... Uh, we're going to keep them in here. I think they won't put the, the medium sex in, in these two. And these two are going to stay low sec. But we're going to be bringing them in. Um, we're going to be defining this area as medium sec. So we are going up, up, up the, uh, the, the danger level here. Inviting in some more inviting in some more people here to uh, up the challenge and also up the rewards. So, And we're also going to be resetting my regime schedule to the way I want it now that we've gotten that nutrition program nonsense out of the way.
So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.